A hollowed out Brexit, a semi-severed union, a house of corrupt pseudo lords. Let's chew it over with a genuine peer, a third Viscount, no less. Viscount Monckton of Brenchley is here. These things are not unrelated. One of the reasons, for example, that Brexit is being undermined is because the House of Lords is absolutely stuffed with Ramonas. But unlike the Commons, Ramonas who don't have to answer to their electorates, uh, and, it's, and for that reason, they're overwhelmingly opposed to reforming the Northern Ireland Protocol exactly. because they actually like the idea of one quarter of the UK still being stuck in the EU. So the present composition of the House of Lords is very inimical to the will of the people. Indeed, the House of Lords is, at present, mm. more unrepresentative of the people than it was when it was composed entirely of hereditary peers, because then there was very little room for placemen. Mm. You could only appoint a new one if somebody fell off his perch and mm. there was no heir, mm. and that happened relatively slowly. Mm. So, as you were saying earlier in the programme, one of the advantages of the hereditary House of Lords is that you've got a wonderful mix of people. I mean, yeah. there, was a, there was a young um, uh, peer once, once who was a Sainsbury's shelf stacker. And he, he inherited at the age of 21. Uh, uh. So, you know, the, the little children that Boris is trying to appoint to the peers, they won't actually be the youngest peers because the hereditary system mm. actually had much younger people on average in the House of Lords than you ever but, got in the House of Commons. But they also, whatever one felt about an hereditary house, they also had a wider range. I mean, Boris's 12-year-old interns yes. are just full-time political suck-ups. And there's already 800 of those. That's right. Absolute. It's just hack upon hack upon hack, mm. when what you had was, to, to use the fashionable word, diversity. Uh, <laughs> that's what they had in the old days. Yeah. That's what's gone. <laughs> and what is now being proposed by Keir Starmer, <laughs> fascinatingly, but not at all surprisingly, yeah. given the history of the Labour Party, is an idea of what used to be called the occupational and geographical franchise. Right. franchises in the House of Lords, right. in that regions and trades and industries elect special representatives to go to the House of Lords. And that mm. idea is, in fact, a very old one. It goes back to the 1930s mm. and to the manifesto, Tomorrow We Live, mm -hmm. of Oswald Mosley's British Union of Fascists. Oh, there we are. Sir Oswald and Sir Keir, like, uh, like two peas in a pod on House of Lords.